Welcome back to the studio. Joining me right now with the American Red Cross Association is Christy Carter. Thank you for coming on. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking, Ms. Yeah. Carter. So um, let's just jump right into it because with recent tragedies in the water r around here in Colorado, I feel like taking precaution in the outdoors is more important than ever. Yes. So like, um, what are some tips to keep in mind while you're on the water? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing is Learn to swim. I mean, that's very important, right? <laughs> um, but also if there's kids, making sure that there's adult supervision around. Um, don't go on the water alone. Make sure you've got someone with you um, wearing the correct life jacket. Um, there's different types. Some are for calm water. Some are more for swift water, like the river. So you want to make sure you have the right life jacket on. Always wear a life jacket, of course. And then um, make sure you have the right device. Um, pool floaties are for the pool, not for the river, right? <laughs> so make sure you're in a, you know, a raft or a kayak or a paddleboard on the river. Yes, ma'am. And um, I saw something that you guys hinted about a river watcher or a water watcher. Oh, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. So a water watcher is an adult who is designated for a certain period of time, whether it's 30 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, whatever you want to designate, that really pays close attention to those in the water. Um, so they're watching those in and around to see if there's any sign of trouble. And then you kind of pass that off to the next person for their, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. So again, just being vigilant around water is super important. And speaking of trouble, let's say we don't want to wish this on anybody, but let's say worst case scenario, there is an emergency that arises in the water. How should someone react to the event of an emergency? Sure. So I think the first thing is, you know, to dial 911, of course, if it gets out of hand, um, having professional responders come, especially, you know, by the river or large body of water, super important. Um, also, something to keep in mind, too, is reach and throw, don't go. And again, most important around the river or a lake, um, if, and if you can't swim, of course, but, um, you know, reaching with an object or throwing an object to somebody um, who's in trouble is much better than trying to go in to, by your, for yourself because you may also end up as a victim. So I'm reaching, throw, don't go. Make sure you remember that, Western yep. Slope. <laughs> um, so what about recreating tips for outdoor, just general outdoor recreating tips? Yeah, absolutely. So we all know it can get hot here, right? So bringing, you know, things like hat, sunscreen, of course, bringing water and bringing more than you need. Um, also, don't forget your pets. So if you have pets coming with you, make sure that you have, you know, either food or extra water for them as well. Um, my favorite tip is actually to tell someone your plans. Um, and let them know where you're going, when you left, and when you plan to come back, so that if you don't come back, they can alert the authorities pretty quickly. <laughs> Indeed. Ms. Christie, uh, you, you just hinted about tips, and I feel like we just gave the Western Slope a lot of information <laughs> to digest. Where can they find a list of these tips or any other useful tips? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to our website, so redcross.org slash summer safety has these tips and more, and then we also have a first aid um, app, um, Red Cross First Aid. You can search for it, and it's got all the ways that you can can you know respond to different emergencies and other tips and tricks well miss christy i want to thank you so much for enlightening the western slope <laughs> on some tips to stay safe throughout this um upcoming summer i feel like it's greatly important for the western Absolutely. slope to stay safe yep thanks for having me